Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Infinite Crisis with Jennifer, aka Matt, because she's not here. Actually, she is literally right there, uh, but she's got a whole bunch of work to do, so she is not going to be playing. Uh, I am. Um, despite the fact that we have Infinite Crisis here every Tuesday at 8 p.m. PST until 10 p.m. PST with some of the best Infinite Crisis players that I know and in general some of the best Infinite Crisis players who are on a quest to become the best in the world, uh, I'm not sure that I picked up all of their skills or talents um, and I'm not as good as them. So uh, I'm going to play and I would love it if you guys would play with me I'm not a level 50, I'm not a level 40, I'm not a level 30, I'm not a level 20. I am still a low level. Uh, but I have fun playing this game, and if you guys want to play with me, just let me know what your protector name is, and I can uh, sign in with you guys, and we can queue up as a group. Uh, if you do not have Infinite Crisis, I would really recommend that you get it. It's free to play. Um, you can download it at infinitecrisis.com, and you can get in on the game. Uh, Zero Knight. I am sorry that you, uh, you missed out on the comic book show. It was a good show. Uh, Wes and Lucas and Jennifer are still here. DC won the week in four rounds. Um, we had all kinds of ridiculous chat about 90s cartoons and uh, which Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were better. So, fun night. And Saturn Meteor, uh, hello. I don't know what you're saying about Twitch banning you. Uh, Big Dick Taker, if you are still in here, we don't actually accept donations. Uh, we're just happy to have you follow us and watch. If you feel like Marvel should have won tonight, or if you feel like DC should have won by a bigger margin, be sure to tell your friends who uh, you know, might be interested in checking out the comic book show to come by next week, and hopefully we'll see you here. Um, I mean, uh, well, we always see you here. We're, we're glad to see you here, but hopefully we can see some of your friends here too. That would, that would be the best gift you could give us. Or cookies, because we like cookies. Except I'm diabetic, so cookies aren't really my thing. Um, I guess I'm going to start sending invites to peoples. Uh, and we'll see if we got enough to, to make stuff happen. Oh, man, Bozzy Lumpkins. I can't believe Bozzy is on right now. Ah, uh, but Bozzy has a uh, an outstanding invite. Let's see here. I could get... See, everybody else is too damn good at this game. Like, they're all like, level 50, level 30, level a billion D. There's Bozzy Lumpkins, but he doesn't want to play. Coco. Maybe Coco will get in on the game. Has anybody ever made the joke, I'm just saying, like, who's Super Saiyan? No? I don't know. All right, well, right now it's just me. All by myself. All right, screw it. Well, I guess I will uh, exit out of this and do a solo queue then. Continue. Solo. All by myself. Spy Scout, are you a Saiyan? I always say I'm Saiyan, Super Saiyan. I'm super serial, guys. Super serial, jeez. Super cereal. Man, Bird Pig's totally real. I don't like some of the new skins that they're uh, coming out with here. It's just not, not so much my thing. I don't know. I, uh, I still believe, if you guys are new to Infinite Crisis, by the way, uh, Infinite Crisis is a MOBA similar to Dota or League of Legends. Only personally, here at uh, Twin Galaxies Live, 
but we like this one. We like Infinite Crisis. And it might have something to do with the fact that I'm a host of the Comic Book Show, and I happen to like comics. Uh, it might also happen to be something to do with the fact that we, uh, you know, we have the Infinite Crisis Experience show here where we get to see awesome Infinite Crisis gameplay. Um, it could be either of those. Those are both things. Oh, and look at that. Two of the people who I was going to queue up with, Wicked Bear and Kryptonite, are actually already in the game. Oh yeah, by the way, I always play as Batman. If I don't play as Batman, I'm going to play as I suck. It's pretty much, that's how this goes. Batman's the only character who I know how to play as in this game. And I need to fix my key binding because Jennifer plays with different keys than I do. Uh, Zero Knight, I wish this game were on console as well. Um, my PC wasn't able to run Infinite Crisis. I was lucky enough to be able to borrow one of the surfaces that we have so I can play it on a Microsoft Surface. Um, I'm not quite sure how MOBAs could be played on consoles. I guess there are QWER, C, B, space, T, D, F. So you start to get to the upper limits of how many buttons a controller has. Um, but I think you probably could do it. So, yeah. I'm sorry that your PC can't run it, though. It, it is quite fun. Um, it was, this was the first MOBA that I'd ever played, and uh, it's definitely different. It's a, it's a weird format. It's a weird, just a weird experience. But it's very easy to get into the game very quickly because it's, it's team-based, and especially if you have people who you can play with regularly, um, as we were lucky enough to do here in the lounge back, uh, back when we had the game showcases. Um, I, was, I was a big fan of being able to, f to log in with the same people and... and at the time, you know, we didn't really know. We didn't really know how to play. We didn't really know what we were doing, but we all kind of learned together. So as a result, you'll see that a lot of the Infinite Crisis experience players, like Neostorm and Impervious, are actually um, they're always really happy to play with new players and try and get new players into the game and, and teach them. Um, and I'm I'm always happy to play with new players too because it, it's it's a fun experience where you're not at such a high level of gameplay that things get really complicated. Um, Internet Explorer, I didn't know that there was even a Lord of the Rings MOBA. Um, I'm I'm relatively new to the whole things. I started playing about a about a year ago. Spy Scout says we're we're playing against you. You're Robin. You're Booster. That's awesome, Spy Scout uh, or Booster. Whichever one you, uh, whichever one you call it, um, you're gonna be able to to watch where my team is by looking at my stream. Uh, I might screw up my whole team by doing that, but that's awesome, man. I'm I'm glad to meet you in the game. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. I will add you to my friends list as soon as I can, and uh, maybe next game we'll be able to queue up together. It was goofy. Uh, down at Comic Con, um, Kevin Conroy was there for the. Uh, yeah, man, this by he, you are totally right. The loading screen is taking forever. It's this AOK -okay guy. He's 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 the only one of us who hasn't loaded up. I think it's gonna force load without him in the game pretty quick here. Um, he looks like he's still new, though. He didn't choose any stolen powers other than the ones that he comes with as his skill set. So he, d he, he doesn't have any of the advanced versions unlocked. So um, Kevin Connery was down to introduce the uh, screening of Assault on Arkham. And <laughs> he said, uh, there are three words that I have said over the past uh, two decades that have, uh, have made people thrilled and uh, I would be very excited if you guys could say it with me um, and then the first thing that he said was I am vengeance and we we're all like what no it's supposed to be I'm Batman 
Uh, so it was goofy, and we all sounded stupid. But that's okay. This is what I need to change. Q W E R T B D F. Yes. You didn't change the key binding from the way I played. Ooh. Do you? Uh, you mean T D? No, that's you left it that way. That's how I played. Oh, you made T D? Ah, yeah. uh, crap. That's mine's gonna be broken, so I'm gonna have to fix it. It's all blurry. This is gonna be so bad. My first fight's gonna be so bad. Does Supergirl have a mullet? I don't know. I'll get close to her. And we'll... Oh, yeah, kinda. Yeah, I see a mullet. Where the hell are you guys? This is gonna end so badly. <laughs> so so bad. So oh, bad. Supergirl's so bad. dead. Who's that guy in the green and white and black? Arcane Green Lantern. Okay, I guess that's a thing. Bringing the fight to you guys. Oh, and you're bringing the fight to me. How nice. Oh, and then they ran away from the fight. What is my team doing? Ugh. Bunch of bitches. Kinda. You to be running from a no, fight. You, you played with the. Oh, you, she's not here anymore. She played with the keys the way I play with them. She played with my key set. Is that Catwoman? I kind of wanna. I wanna do to Flash what he did to me. Yeah, that's Gaslight Catwoman. Hey, like San Diego. Yeah. Gaslight. Uh, Flash your douche. You overextended and you will pay. And it's really hard to see where my uh, cursor is on this. There's Doomsday with his Wolverine claws. Oh my god, Flash is such a douche. Remember that for the comic book show, guys. The Flash is a douche, according to Matt Hiscox. That's Kryptonite, you're a douche. I know you probably don't know what's going on, but he ran a full circle around, he took up all the health packs, and then he poached the <laughs> kill that I went in to try and get. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I guess I'll try and kill this. And then he, instead of helping, he waited just outside and then decided to come back. Flash is a douche. Oh, is that that blue character in the comic book? That you're all like, oh, yeah, we know her now from the game. No. That little holographic girl? Yes, that's the construct. Yeah. Not the same person. I don't even know what my team is doing. Come on, Flash, let's make this happen. Where's Sharpa Evil? Where's she been? That's a good question. And the chat hasn't been moving for four minutes. I think everyone died. Yeah, after the comic book show, things kind of fall off for the last last slot of the night. Wah, 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 wah. Farming it up. How you been, man? Tired. Yeah? Work stressing you out? Ye yes, very much. Uh, he thinks his work is stressful. It is. I wish. Spy Scout says that he's the Robin on the other team. Yeah, I know. But that was like 
six, seven minutes ago, so that may not be the case anymore. It's Mullet Supergirl again. So like, what? That's the time. What are you talking about? She was there. Mullet Supergirl. She was there. Yeah. She's fighting Arcane. I'm going to do the sensible thing, and I'm going to help the bots cap the point, because that's what we need to be doing to win. We've just been bleeding out like crazy. We are not going to be able to capture this before Superman. Gets okay. Here. This... I'm so tired of pop-up windows, especially on my phone. I'm trying to see something. Just let me see it. That one. There you go. Really, Doomsday? You're going to waste it on me? All right. Well, then. Come on, buddy. I'm right here. Come get me. Right here. There you are. Oh, he has two claws. So he's docking. Or X-23. <laughs> what an idiot. Did he lose you? Or did yeah, you lose him? I lost him. There's Mullet Supergirl again. Again, I'm going to do the smart thing because doing the smart thing will allow me to murder everybody. Now, can someone hurt you while you're here? No. While you're in your base, they technically they can, but it's very difficult to do and it's very costly. Oh, it costs them? Well, when you when you cross that bridge, uh -huh. you have a cannon that starts firing. Oh, okay. Um, so if you're, if you're not, it, it's a really bad idea to try and attack people while that's happening. Oh, that's a meteor. Don't go that way. What, this? I'm going to lose this fight. But you're yep. Batman. <gasps> Batman's dead. Two on one. I was going to lose that fight you for ready? sure. Wherever you are. I think. Well, give me a couple. Let me know. What's your schedule like these days? Monday through Friday? Yeah, Monday through Friday. All day. I try to leave work early on Wednesday for the comic book show. Today was not one of those days. What time's uh, work normally let out? Uh, I usually get there a little before 9 and then leave around 6. So it's like 9 hour days. Um, but sometimes I leave to go have lunch. Uh, usually it's just to go down to McDonald's and bring it back to work. Sometimes I splurge and go to Subway, which is just like a block <laughs> further. But, uh, you know, it's a fun job. Yeah. It is stressful. Main, I think it's stressful other than the fact that, you know, it takes me in like almost two hours to get there and two hours back. Yeah, that's pretty lame, man. Yeah, um... But I work with uh, a girl in my office, and uh, she's very paranoid about her job. Like, if she's not talking to me about something, like, technical about, you know, comic books or whatever, uh, it's she's telling me about how she thinks she's going to be fired and yada, yada, yada. And, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're a rabbit for a second. Look at that. She wasn't even able to dent me. I was like, oh, I guess I'll... We're doing this again, Doomsday. Let's... Come on. Yeah, oh, he yeah. got smart. Yeah. It's like, I ain't doing this. Uh, damn. But yeah, I got the weekends off, but this past weekend, it wasn't a good weekend. I just stayed home and tried to get some work done for work. Stay on the point, Supergirl. Stay on the point. Oh. Uh. Oh. 
Batman knows how to stay on the point. Supergirl doesn't know how to stay on the point. So did you see the uh, pictures of Ben Affleck on the Batman v Superman? Yes, I did. Okay, so there's this one picture that I saw, and it could totally have been, uh, you know, photoshopped in there. But there, he's like holding a batarang. Really? Yeah, I think. Okay, if you don't know this, then maybe it, it probably was photoshopped. Because it was in the comments of the article. So I'm just like, is this real? Come on, give me any kind of mana. Any kind. Literally any kind. God damn it. This is stupid. I need to stop chasing this. So oh, tell hi. me what you really thought oh, of... There. What's up, Archer Man? Tell me what you really thought of Assault of Arkham. Uh, as a Batman movie, it was pretty dumb. Yeah. As a... It should have been called uh, uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, as a Suicide Squad movie, though, it was great. It, yeah, like, Batman makes a cameo in it, yeah. and Joker makes a cameo, pretty much. But, I mean, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to get lesser-known characters to be well-known. And, you know, they draw you in with the Kevin Conroy and Troy Baker and... Pretty much everything you see in the trailer is what you see in the film of Batman. But I actually thought the thing was kind of lame. The whole thing. But that's just me being a Marvel guy. P.S. I'm a Q snipe you guys. Yeah, he wants to try and get in on the next game and kill us. Oh. We'll just invite him into the next game though, so... It makes life a little easier. I need a health pack. Credit stomping. I'm not really sure what my theme is doing. I'm just going to keep trying my best. It's a mullet Supergirl. Oh, I guess it's not really a mullet. Now that I'm looking at it, as she's not moving. Yeah, it's not a mullet. But it does when like she's moving. Because only part of her hair moves, and it's not on top of her head. Oh, damn it. I am such in the mood to watch Darkwing Duck and Mrs. Doubtfire. That was dumb. Darkwing Duck! Better watch out, you bad boys! Darkwing Duck! Let's get dangerous. I'm kind of embarrassed that I just do not remember. Oh, that's that. Probably not a good idea to name yourself unstoppable. <laughs> kind of just asking for trouble, right? It's like the Juggernaut. Who is my favorite X-Men villain? When I was first introduced to the X-Men, it was through the cartoon, and the first episode I saw was the Unstoppable Juggernaut. Oh, you're dead. Kill Superman. Somebody go kill Superman. Yep, that's right. You better run, Superman. You better run. Now you have to wait for everyone else to die? No, I just have to re uh, yeah. You You have a time delay for when you're allowed to live and when you're dead. Uh, Archer Man and Golden, if you guys are in here, I would love to get you guys into the next game. No worries. Archerman says, well, never mind. Apparently, I'm in a GDQ. Yeah, it stands for Gotham Divided, and I'm playing Heights right now. Like the comic the book. Team oh, wait. Be no Gotham. Out right around here. Unless they all based back, which apparently they didn't. So. Did you know about that cartoon that they were making? Uh, Gotham Heights? Like Gotham, Gotham High? High? No, I had no idea. Yeah, I, I don't. I forget when I learned about it, but they were uh, 
doing it off of the success of X-Men Evolution. And it was pretty much Bruce Wayne going to high school and all the villains were his, you know, classmates, pretty much. Ah, got her. Oh, come on. We're getting so crushed. Why is crushed a thing now? Like, oh, he just crushed you. Because sometimes it feels like you are just a tin can. Gets smashed and then thrown aside. When you get a chance, you can look. Oh, no. I definitely had never seen that. Yep. That <laughs> killer croc. It never went past, you know, the early stages, but... It's not going to be fast enough. Not going to be fast enough. Barely going to miss it. Yep. I'm going to die so bad. Hmm. Archerman says, I'll try to join you, Matt. Hopefully we can stomp these guys quick. Yeah, how much? Oh, we've still got 35 minutes left. See, this is stupid. Uh. Next week, we're going to have a lot of X Men books for the comic book show. Yeah. I guarantee it. You have all new X Men, amazing X Men, X Men. I think maybe one or two Wolverine books come out. This week was Marvel's like eh week. Remember how uh, Marvel and DC all have like a eh? yeah. There's always the like eh. Yeah, this was our eh week. Though Ultimate Spider-Man Miles Morales was really good. Yeah, I feel like you just didn't present that very well. Well, I didn't have the book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, you when you... I feel bad when that happens, because there's, like... You keep asking for books, and it's like, we don't have that. Why don't we have it? Uh, Oscar didn't give it to us. So, he, there's just a lot of times when he's not on it. Yeah, uh, well. Hopefully like we'll get that He's got fixed. his own shipment problems going on right now, and he's got a lot that he's worried about. So I understand, um, but at the same time, it kind of sucks. Go yeah, ahead, yeah. Superman. Pull out your kryptonite ring. Unfortunately, I don't have it. Strike Freedom is built specifically to kill me, and that's the only thing that I can build to fight back, and I'm not going to be able to do it fast enough. Yeah, he's... Yep, there it is. All that, all that armor. So basically, screw my team. <laughs> okay. Now this. Now let's play as a group. Now let's do this. Golden. Invite. There's Booster. So Big Dick Ticker asked me how I would rate X-Men the Animated Series and X-Men and the Wolverine. I think he's talking about Wolverine. Oh, yeah, okay, so Wolverine and the X-Men. Uh, big Dick Taker. Uh, the 90s series, I hold that very close to my heart. It's what got me into X-Men. But I think Wolverine and the X-Men take chances that you know the 90s cartoon didn't take. Uh, it's. I think it might 
personally, I think it's a little bit more mature than the X-Men series. And if you look back at the X-Men series, it has a lot of issues. What? Big Dick Taker? I still love it. I still love it, but Wolverine the X-Men is my favorite X-Men series. And me being the biggest X-Men fan that I know speaks volumes for it. So, Boo. Who is that? What's up? It's Tella. <laughs> I think the Jennifer keeps pointing this out, but I think a lot of people um, have fonder memories of things than mm-hmm. they actually were. Yeah, if you, like if you watch... Like Doug, Doug yeah. was like my favorite cartoon, you know, back in the day. And if I rewatch, I like rewatched the pilot like a couple years ago, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't, you know, survive the whole like twenty minutes because it was just so bad. And like, if I went back to watch the nineties uh, Turtles cartoon, I think I would feel the same way, even though I really feel like watching it. And really feel like watching Darkwing Duck. And I really feel like watching uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Though Mrs. Doubtfire, I know for a fact, is superb because I did watch that a couple years ago. You mean the 80s? What are you talking about, 80s? The 80s Ninja Turtles. It was in the it was 90s, too. Late 80s, early 90s, yeah. That that was one that actually crossed over at the, at the decade mark. Yeah. And I remember getting those uh, VHS tapes from Burger King. Yeah. And the tapes, all those tapes went bad for some reason. They were all terrible. They were all just the crappy, uh... Yeah. Like, Do you remember the cereal? I never the, ate the cereal. You, I ate... You know what cereal I had? Uh, the, when the first Spider-Man movie came out in, like, 2002, they had, like, a, a limited edition cereal. I got it, and I ate it, and I was like, this reminds me of a cereal when I was a kid, like... Like I, I'm trying to think of what it was, but there's like the cereal. It was such sugary goodness and everything, and uh, I'm, I think there was like an ET cereal back in there the day. There was an ET cereal. Was, yeah. I think that's the exact same cereal, but just rebranded as Spider-Man. But mm-hmm. um, but then when the Spider-Man Two movie came out, they also had a cereal for it and I got it and I ate it and I was like this is shit <laughs> but yeah serious well, good Dick Taker saying that he actually uh, finds that X-Men the animated series still holds up today yeah most most of it does like the f- especially the first two seasons third season yes the fourth and fifth ones not so much I feel like especially the fourth uh, season is mainly uh one-off episodes and mainly of Wolverine and don't get me wrong and you guys know this I love Wolverine but I think Wolverine is best when he's with the X-Men does the guy who voiced Wolverine in the animated series is he still does he do contours or anything contours he's dead he's dead he died the one in the 90s yeah he Uh died around like like the fifth, sixth episode when Wolverine was uh, in some kind of ice, no ice place. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. The 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 actor who voiced Wolverine's character. Yeah, he's been dead. No, he died. Well, he couldn't have died in the fifth episode because if he, he died voiced... in the fifth episode, then somebody else voiced him for the rest of the season. So somebody, someone else did. Him. No. Yeah, yeah someone guy. else did voice. Okay, so I it don't was know what Cedric there. Smith who voiced Wolverine. And he is not dead. He is 70 years old right now. Oh, we're going to lose so bad. Um, but yeah, he voiced Wolverine throughout the entire series. He did uh, uh, the video games, uh, X-Men, uh, Children of the Atom, and all the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom oh, that's cool. ones, except for the... Th- third one mm-hmm. which that's when steve bloom took over that's when you know steve bloom started voicing wolverine in uh x-men legends number one and then he's pretty much been voicing wolverine ever since except for that one time that had, they had like a wolverine anime and it was voiced by milo something from heroes milo blah, 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 blah. 
which was going back to cereal. Does anybody remember Donkey Kong? No. Nobody remembers that. I I remember Wait, seeing it. But is I this a uh, Batman and Robin callback right there? That uh, um, this is. Um, I think it's Enchanted Evening Ivy. That's what that skin is called. I can't. Uh, she's walking away. <laughs> what a bitch. That's what bitches do. Like a, they walk away when things get tough. <laughs> I believe it had like a banana shape and some other kind of fruit. It was horrible. That, uh, that does sound terrible. My favorite cereal was definitely probably uh, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, Freddy uh, Flintstones. What was it? Freddy Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Uh, Fruit Loops. I Tricks. Fruit Loops, man. Yeah, but Tricks evolved over the time. I remember back then when Tricks was the same thing like Donkey Kong cereal. Yeah. Just horrible. And then it just evolved. I don't eat cereal very much anymore. I don't know do, why. When I do, it's usually like uh, Cheerios or something to help my cholesterol even though i haven't seen a doctor in like over a decade i just know i need better cholesterol but yeah big dick ticker yeah the first two seasons of the 90s x-men is like phenomenal and i feel like the same way with uh batman the animated series like the first I would give them the first three seasons were like really good and then it just started to die off and then they did the revamp and I didn't like the re revamp at all. Yeah, the revamp was uh, it was hard to get into. It, it definitely wasn't what people were used to. Oh, look at that. Somebody already left the match. We're playing a team and the team is getting stopped. Wait, <laughs> what is Big Dickers? <laughs> Wait, okay, it sounds like you should maybe broaden your horizons, Lucas. That is if uh, bad luck has come your way with the fair sex. I don't know. How do you know if you don't or do like something till you've tried it? No? <laughs> That's what Big Dick Ticker's saying. <laughs> I know I don't All have right. to try everything to know something's horrible. Wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Bad Batman. Dude, tell her, bro, have you fixed your computer yet? Nope. You gotta get on that, man. Eh, uh, too much money. No. Best <laughs> Buy wants so much. Yeah, you'd said that. Where the fuck is everybody going? <laughs> yeah, I'm saving up on my money to still go to Supernatural Con. Supernatural. Yeah, I'm excited for you for uh, Supernatural. Hopefully you'll have fun. Wait, what? What's going on with Supernatural for you? I am going to a Supernatural Con in October. A convention? Mm-hmm. They have a Supernatural convention? Yes. They do? You know, I've seen part of one episode, and it was like when they first uh, went over to HD, and uh, the taller guy, what's his name? Jerry Padalecki, Sam. Okay. Uh, he had a zit throughout the whole thing. You could tell that he did. And then later on, I wasn't paying attention of the episode at all but I was paying attention to a zit because it was like so clear in this HD TV you know and uh, later on in the episode he had a wound right where his zit was convenient <laughs> yeah oh shit see I don't pay that attention to detail idea. with the zit but I do remember him having a broken arm in season 2 like for real yeah and they played it off that uh, something happened with Sam and he had to walk around with a broken arm. Hmm. I remember in the third season of Friends 
when uh, uh, Joey uh, Matthew LeBlanc he really broke his arm, and then they worked it into the uh, story where he was jumping on the bed and he fell and broke his arm. So he had like a sling for like a few episodes. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing Infinite Crisis anymore. Why not? It's taking too much time for me to repair my stuff. As much as taking it time, it's going to look like I'm not going to be so much interested in more of it. What is that? Is that Voltron? No, that's Mecha Superman. Ah, they, uh, I see the Superman. A lot of them do different universes. So this is Nightmare Batman. This is Mecha Wonder Woman and Mecha Superman. Mm-hmm. My team built uh, Mecha this time. That's just the the regular ones are called Prime. So I'm playing as Batman Prime right now. Oh, well, by the looks of everything, I'm just gonna probably be end up just watching show for now on and not be able to play anything. Boo. Tell them, my last week I was over playing two games on a PS3 and I barely knew how to turn it on. Oh, did Get you, did you hear about the news that there's a new Tomb Raider game coming out but it's an, an Xbox exclusive? Wow. Xbox only? Yeah. It's stupid. Like yeah. Tomb Raider started on uh, P- uh, PlayStation. Golden. Get out. Oh, Golden. I didn't really care for it. I didn't owned a PlayStation before. Big Dick Ticker says, if you go to Kevin Conroy's IMDb, his profile picture is of him and a huge blister on his lip and nose. It's really distracting. Big Dick Ticker, I think you can go on there and change it. Can't you? If you have an IMDb account, you can change stuff that's on there. I don't know. What he's saying is it's on Kevin Conroy's IMDb. Yeah, yeah, but you can change it. Like, users can change the profile picture picture like you can add them on there to someone else's yeah oh god we got five capped i have no idea what that means all five points we got six capped all five points hey so who won tonight by the other team. dc no yeah dc but ben wins. ben went into it uh, thinking like, oh yeah, DC has it this week. You know, the books are crap. But he didn't read the books that I read. I enjoyed my books. Hmm. Hey, was Guru around earlier to do the poll? Yep. All right. He was I'm late though. Him around lately. He was late. Yeah, Guru popped in uh, for a comic book show. Yep. Is it all right? Uh, I haven't heard from him. He seemed okay. Uh, there was a brief exchange between Ben and he about possibly someone's loss, but I'm not really sure what they were talking about. So, Robin Williams. They're talking about Robin Williams. Right? Yeah. Oh. Ben took it really hard. He talked about it. He got to meet him, and I'm jealous. I never got to meet Robin, Robin Williams. Williams back in the day. But it, he's the kind of guy like you feel like you would know. Like if you if you I met him, like you would know exactly what kind of guy he would be. I think. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about what happened to him. Well, I mean, you think someone's life, you know, you you never know what's happening in someone else's life. So. No, I don't think he even did that. I don't know. We are going to have to fight so, so hard. From what I can explain. Ah. Slit your wrist and then try to hang yourself. Do you guys appear on Twin Galaxies any other day of the week other than today? I pop in sometimes it's very rare nowadays but um matt you're here quite often uh, i don't know what often is the word but i'm here occasionally uh, uh, that's I'm right here, so i am here schedule. tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays uh and that's when i come out to play so um 
I do play occasionally. Oh, that's bad. You're gonna die. You're gonna die before you kill Doomsday. Yep. Or uh, if I like to nag Matt. I uh, I am here Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I host the Infinite Crisis show, and I am a producer on the Infinite Crisis show. Um, so I am here for that. Uh, and then on top of that, I am here on Thursdays. Uh, but I don't I don't really host any other shows other than the comic book show and Infinite Crisis show. So the only times you can really catch me here are on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And then he's here on Thursdays just to annoy me. <laughs> yes, I just pop out. <clears throat> yep, that's bad. Don't go mid. Nobody do what I did. Nobody do that at all. Because that was a super, super bad idea. We're going to die. See, they, they have 300 points on us. There's no way. Mm-hmm. Is that Harley? Yep. It's a me, Harley. I still want everybody to reconsider or rethink about what they said about Robin Williams. To rethink? Mean? Yes. Who needs to rethink? We do? Uh, probably. Probably. From what everybody's saying, he's suicide. But from what I heard on the news, cutting the wrist and hanging himself. Uh huh. How the heck are you gonna cut your wrist when you can't even move your hands at all after all that blood dripping out? Oh, like uh, they were saying that uh, um, his cuts weren't deep enough. Um. Like, he didn't do it right, pretty much, is what they were saying. He failed. That's why he went for the belt and the hand. Yeah, but you'll still have a good enough amount. You know what I mean? So, well, I mean, you'll have damaged nerve system, so you can't grab anything. I think maybe he tried the whole slice and dice thing. But he was probably maybe scared. And then... I don't know. Yeah, well, same thing with Michael Jackson's story. Wait, you think it's a frame-up? You think someone... had something to do with it? Yeah, well... Not everything is told, and everything... And um, the story likes to be mixed up a lot. Yeah. At one point it's this, at one point it's that, and then it's on another, and another, and another. So, well, you guess. Apparently, um, I think he was, like, been depressed, like, his pretty much his entire life. Uh, and he's done rehab before, and... Uh, yeah, know. but they said he's been on drugs, but he wasn't. It was first drugs in the 70s and 80s. Then it was the alcohol. Yep. And that's what they said first. Then they came up with slitting his wrist and hanging himself. So there's something fishy going on. Well, I mean, they're they're probably saying that, uh, you know, the alcohol and the drugs were leading to the suicide. Like, you know, when you're drunk and, you know, high, you know, you do things that you wouldn't normally do, so. Well, I don't believe what the world says anyways. There, there's a lot of hush-hush I believe in. Yeah, well, I will... Probably never really know the truth, so. And 
honestly, I mean, even though, you know, we feel like we know this person, we don't. It's really none of our business. Uh, unless it was a murder, then, you know, we should figure out, you know, who did it and... It's the same thing with Michael Jackson's story. It's going to probably go on for years and other stuff is going to happen. Well, I'm just sad that there's not going to be a Mrs. Doubtfire 2 because I would have loved to have seen that. I really don't know how he would have played that off right. Considering the fact it's a comedy, old woman, supposed to be kind of a little bit taller than what Robin Williams was playing but be able to move around kind of crazy I don't think Robin Williams can move around crazy too much anymore well maybe they'll release you know their outline of the story or maybe if there's a script maybe they'll release it but I think you know it's Somewhere down the road, there's going to be a movie like Mrs. Doubtfire because I think it's a really great idea. How? What the, uh, I mean, they already went through a divorce. Pacifier? Oh, I never saw that. It, was, it, was, it wasn't quite the same idea, but it was the same kind of idea of like, you know, in order to connect with children, uh, a guy has to become basically a nanny. Hmm. I think uh, The Rock was in a movie like that, too. Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy, yeah. I hadn't, didn't see that either, but I did some artwork for a movie theater for it. Cool. Yep. I just think that uh, Mrs. Doubtfire should have been a one-time deal kind of movie. Well, it a is. sequel would have been horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, w I would wonder what they would do. Like, how would they continue the story? How would they? But I mean, they're already divorced, and the children got to be grown up by now. Yep. And he's going to get back with the wife and divorce her again? I don't know. I love Sally Field, by the way. I'm just thinking about that right now. <clears throat> You're going to say something? Yeah, Big Dick Taker says, uh, Twin Galaxy seems like a fun place to be with your free time. I'm sure a lot of people would love to be in your guys' shoes. It's a really fun environment, at least from the outside looking in. Yeah. It is a fun environment. Um, it's a lot more busy than we make it look. We make it look like it's, let's sit down and talk about video games, and now let's play video games, and now let's talk about comics. But, uh, to be honest, the person on camera is usually the person who's doing the least amount of work, while everybody else is running around like a chicken with their heads cut off, making sure that the broadcast is still running, that everything is running smoothly, uh, that everything that's upcoming is getting done. Um, we run pretty long hours here. We, we've started broadcasting from 1 till midnight, so we broadcast for 11 hours every day. Uh, thankfully, we've started splitting shifts between morning and night, so we're not all here for the whole time. Uh, but I think on a good night, I get out of here around 1230. Why did you guys start airing at 1? Jace wanted to expand our hours. He felt like... Uh, he felt like there were a lot of people out there who would appreciate having the opportunity to uh, create their own shows and content and do their own broadcasts. So um, you'd, you'll notice that nobody from our side broadcasts at one. It's always somebody else is coming in. So it's not Xander, it's not Rady, it's not Jennifer, it's not me. Um, it's always somebody else who has been tapped and brought in. I think Xander mm. does some of the afternoon broadcasts, but... Uh, I'm glad that Xander is able to take the morning ones or the morning, the, the afternoon ones, because now he's able to go home and spend some more time with his family. Yeah, so that's awesome. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad for him. I hope uh, I hope Carrie is enjoying seeing Xander more, and I hope Xander is enjoying his time with his kids and his family. That's that's cool. Yeah. I wish Everybody I had more time should to join Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of Jennifer, I heard she's be she'll be moving on to different things. No, that's Jace what? playing a joke. Huh. Jennifer went and met with uh, Felicia Day's company, Geek and Sundry, um, because they just got acquired by Legendary. 
So they're starting to see who is out there and who might want to be involved with them in varying capacities. So Geek and Sundry wanted to meet with Jennifer and say, hey, you know, we're, we're different than we used to be. So if you want to, if you want to come be a part of that, we like it, it wasn't a job offer. It wasn't like anything specific. It was mm -hmm. just, Hey, we've heard about you. We think we should meet and have lunch or something. Yeah. So Jennifer went and met with them and said, hi, but she will not be moving on from everything that I know. So she keeps jokingly saying, I'm going to be here forever. It's all for you, Jace Hall. But, uh, She's not entirely joking. She won't be leaving. She'll, she's here for a while. So. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Big Dick Taker, we're, we're glad to be able to produce content that you guys like, and uh, we're glad to have you join us. That's a very sneaky name. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it makes it into the edit. <laughs> That's what it means? Jimmy Cricket. So, so was Jackie you. finally in the lounge tonight? No. She's Dang. she's got a show going on. What show is she in now? Who? Jackie. Uh, East Los. I think it's East Los Angeles. Oh, like a, that web series. Yeah. Okay, but she's. I think she's in like a play or something. Oh, that's right. She she did just shift over to a new play. I don't know what it was called, though. I don't know either. I guess she's not going to be around for a while. Yeah, she's, she's busy. Yeah, she said she was going to try, but uh, she she does have a busy schedule. I saw her last Thursday. You saw her last Thursday, yeah, too. Yeah. Everybody saw her last Thursday. Not here, though. Not me. Nope. You had to go to Meltdown Comics. That was a cool But one. I don't want to go. Yeah, you should tell... Uh, <laughs> He seemed not happy. No. But apparently, that's how he always is. Oh, yeah, life. Not much, not much is new with me, man. This whole week, I've been trying to fix my front door. Um, because of the heat and the cold, the door, the wood has expanded and contracted throughout the years. Mm -hmm. So I've been planing it down, trying to get it so it'll actually close. But, like, every time I take the... I keep having to take off the doorknob and the deadbolt so I can sand it and not scratch the doorknob and the deadbolt. So it's like a five-minute process to get the doorknob off. Yeah. And then you start sanding, and you're like, oh, crap. I have to go to the meeting. You have to put it all Probably back on. <laughs> and then you go off. So literally my life, like, it's just been twin galaxies, work on the house. Twin galaxies, work on the house. And then I get, like, one day a weekend where it's like, okay. So... Yeah. And the house is coming along well, though. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. All Dick, that manpower. Big Dick Ticker says, did you guys grow up in where you guys are? I'm assuming L.A. Or did you guys end up moving there sometime after high school, college? One minute left. I, I came here six years ago from Ohio. Matt? I was born in California, and then I moved to Southern California, and then I moved to Colorado, and then I moved to Northern California, and then I went to college at USC. So I came down to Los Angeles then. All right. I think that's the end of the broadcasting. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. I won't see you guys tomorrow, but well, some of... Nobody comes to yeah. remove these mics from us. We could be here still. Oh, is there more broadcasting? Later. Okay, bye. against my religion. You have a tattoo that says butthole. Are you serious? Who is our guest for tonight? <laughs> the legendary Afro uh -oh. Cole, two-time Street Fighter world champion. Two-time, oh. two-time. Because if you give that delay on the third hit, it takes up like twice as much power. People should be fired up about my amazing rocket design of amazing rocketness. 
and design. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. It's on the tree. Woo! Hidden camera. There's money in the trash cans. There's cake in the desk. You'll get all your favorite personalities streaming here on Twin Galaxies Live, and you'll get Xander. Tonight it's going to be NBA 2K14. Again, I'm your host, Paul. I'm a Leo. Uh, this is my month on the cusp. I'm uh, August 22nd to Leo slash Virgo. Twin Galaxies. We are here with Monolith Productions, and they have created an amazing game called Shadow of Mordor. I'm here with Michael, who is the uber designer of Monolith, overseeing the entire known universe. Actually, we're, we're pretty excited here today because we've got Bob Roberts, who's the lead designer of the game. We've got Jessica Maznika, producer, and we've got Ryan Ladine, one of our designers. And what we can do here that we weren't even able to do at E3 is we're going to have three versions of the game in our Nemesis system running in parallel. And you're going to get to see it live and how three people playing at the same time in different games, how the game just starts shaping around their play. Style. Each one of these guys is going to approach the game in a different way, a different style. Bob is going to take a sort of really tactical strategy. He's going to gather information on these enemies. He's going to use their strengths and weaknesses. Then Ryan, he's going to focus on the power of the wraith and on domination to actually sort of bring down Sauron's army from within. And then 